This isn't about the confusingly named Space Marine Lieutenant ability called Tactical Precision. That's about lethal hits. Totally different rule. Precision is a universal ability that you'll see in a lot of weapons, and a lot of characters and units have it. Like this very annoying Lichter. It works the same way in shooting in combat, which can be a little counterintuitive. What you need to have, and all you need to have, is line of sight. And then as long as your ranged weapon is in range, you can assign a wound to a character in a unit, and that model has to take the save. In combat, as long as you are attacking an attached unit, as long as you have line of sight to that character, your attacks can be made against that character model. So as long as that character isn't hiding around a corner where you can't see them, you are in close combat with the unit, the attached unit as a whole, so you can allocate your precision attacks to that character. You don't need to be within one inch of them or anything like that. Line of sight is the only thing you require. That can sound a bit weird, but that is how it's meant to work. Already the rule is sounding a little bit complicated, and there's definitely more to it than this. But this rule is all about attached units. So if there's a character all by themselves, a way you can deploy any character, then this isn't like 8th and 9th edition or like Age of Sigma, where you can't shoot a character if they're close to another unit. A character by themselves will take all the bullets, precision or not. And before your eager fingers start typing, yes, there are some characters like the lion that have rules that say they can't be shot if they're within a few inches of another unit. The models that have that rule will have it written on their index cards. Precision also does not count a lone operative. This is a universal rule that a lot of characters have, and some other units, which states that you can't shoot that character unless you are within 12 inches of them. Characters that have that will show it on their data card, and remember, deploying a character by themselves does not give them lone operative, and precision does not counter lone operative. Precision works against attached units, and an attached unit is a mix of characters and a unit that they can go with, so that aforementioned Space Marine Lieutenant can join a Space Marine Tactical Squad. So they go together as an attached unit, the Lieutenant being the character, the Tactical Squad becoming the bodyguard. These are official terms. So precision lets you target the Lieutenant in that tactical squad, even though the attached unit rule means that you can't allocate wounds to a character first. You have to put them on the bodyguard models. You know, the other soldiers in the squad. Precision does overrule that. That is the whole purpose of the precision rule. It's also taken me a while to figure out myself, but precision doesn't let you shoot at any model you want in a character unit. Key words are shared for the unit. So this is a character unit because at least one model in it has the character keyword. However, the way precision is meant to work is it only targets character models. So the lieutenant is a character model, the tactical squad sergeant is not a character model as that model does not have the character keyword, even if the attached unit as a whole is a character unit because at least one model in that squad has the character keyword. We'll come back to this with the way keywords work. For now, don't worry, this was just a way of getting over a previous way it'd been mentioned it could work. Intuitively, we know how precision should work. It's a sniper shot against a character. And that is how it's meant to be in the rules. That is how we play it. Going another step further, even if you have Celestine and her Gemini in a unit of Seraphim, an attacker with precision cannot deliberately target a Gemini model. Although the three model unit has the character keyword, if the three ladies are in a unit of Seraphim, they snipe Celestine as a model, as that is a model with a character keyword. The Gemini models do not have that. Although, as an attached unit, you, as the sister player, could choose to take off a Gemini model first before a Seraphim, as in an attached unit, they become part of the bodyguard. But I have another video where I talk about characters that I'll link at the end, as I'm getting a bit off topic now. So, precision against attached units. Even though you know that your precision shot is going to target a character model, so this Neuro Tyrant, you still roll to wound against the Bodyguard Toughness. So that would be the Toughness 3 of the Neuro Gaunts, not the Toughness 8 of the Neuro Tyrant. This is because precision only comes into effect at the point where damage is assigned, and the part where you assign damage comes after the roll to wound. That is counterintuitive, but that is how it works. And the way attached units are, you use the Bodyguard Toughness for all of the attacks that are coming in. Don't get hung up on the idea that all attacks are rolled one at a time. All of the attacks are considered to have been made once you declare the target. So that Neuro Tyrant is a little bit weaker, assuming that you have the shots to blow through all of the Neuro Gaunts and then hurt the Neuro Tyrant. Alternatively, you could deploy them by themselves. 
in which case all of the shots will be hitting them and a few anti-tank guns will be able to wipe them out instantly because there's no bodyguard to take the hits for them. The attached unit rule regarding toughness also overwrites other rules about toughness. So even if there is only one Neurogaunt left and the Neuro Tyrant, normally if you had that in a unit like the Proteus Kill Team having a Terminator and a Veteran Marine left, you normally use the majority toughness and if there are equal numbers you use the highest toughness. So for the Proteus Kill Team you would use the toughness 5 of the Terminator. It doesn't work like that with attached units. As long as there is a bodyguard model alive when you declare that your unit was shooting at the attached unit, you roll to wound against the bodyguard unit's toughness. This does mean that if I was firing my battle sister squad with a lot of bolt guns and then two melter guns at that Neurogaunt Neuro Tyrant, even if all of the bolt guns rolled first, killed all of the Neurogaunts, the melter guns would still be rolling to wound against the toughness three of the Neurogaunts, not the toughness eight of the Neuro Tyrant. Back to precision. We'll keep it focused on precision. You may only get precision happening when you roll a six plus to hit. So this is one of the Tyranid detachment rules. It is also one of the mission tactics for the Black Spear detachment of the Death Watch. I keep using Death Watch examples because they're such a weird and different army. They have a lot of unusual mechanics, which means they can work very nicely as examples. So if you've rolled a six to hit with a rule that gives you precision on a critical hit, that is normally rolling a six. Those attacks have to be rolled separately. Not because you are rolling against a different toughness, but because only those attacks, not all of the attacks, can be allocated to the character. And precision is a choice for the attacker. You don't have to choose to allocate your attack to a character. You can choose to follow the normal allocate attack procedure. So the Sister Superior with the Contemma Bolt Gun has precision. They could choose to kill another Neurogaunt to reduce the unit's objective control on an objective, knowing that a wound on the Neuro Tyrant wouldn't do that. Thinking again of that Kundima bolt gun, if there are key words on either the character or the bodyguard that trigger abilities on your weapons, that works for either one of them. So the Battle Sisters shooting at the Neuro Tyrant and Neuro Gaunt, the anti psyker ability of the Kundema Bolt Gun would be in effect even if you choose to allocate the shot to a Neuro Gaunt instead of the Psychic Neuro Tyrant. If you don't believe me, that is literally the example used in the rules commentary. Precision also works in combat and can be very easy to get. So you don't need to be Ephriel Stern or a Death Cult Assassin to get precision in combat. You can use the epic challenge to make one of your characters target an enemy character with the precision rule. That enemy character does not get to fight back against your character if you are part of an attached unit. This isn't a fair duel. This is an assassination. If your character wants to do the honourable thing and duel, then they would have to use the command point ability as well, assuming they survive. And remember, precision works the same way with shooting as in combat. The rule doesn't change to require base contact with the target character, just be in engagement range of the attached unit and have line of sight to the enemy character model. I mean, they tend to be bigger anyway or have fancy banners and head crests, so this is rarely a problem. You should be able to see them over the other models in the squad. If you kill an enemy character, either in shooting or combat using the precision rule, your remaining attacks from your model don't just stop. So if a cannoness used the epic hero challenge stratagem, she has three attacks with her relic blade. If all three attacks hit and wound and the enemy character dies after the second failed save, that third attack isn't lost. It is assigned to the bodyguard models. The enemy character is not a separate unit. An attached unit is one unit for all purposes. You don't need to overthink it. I am not suggesting that like the damage two spills over like devastating wounds. This is an Age of Sigma. The character is just another model in the unit that gets taken off first because of precision. If a Sister of Battle character or the Gene Stealer Cult Abominant is resurrected either by a stratagem or ability, then they return at the end of the phase. They don't get straight back up only to be knocked back down, although this was how the Necron Awakened Dynasty stratagem worked in the Index, but in the Codex it is updated to return at the end of the phase. When the character comes back, they return inside their attached unit assuming there are any members of the attached unit left. Here is the rule on that in case you're unsure, and I may have caused you dual screen watchers to look away from your game. Sorry, but best of luck in that game. Side note, if the aberrants were all wiped out and then returned as a blip, the abominant that was with them doesn't join the blip cult ambush marker, as that is technically a whole new unit. The abominant is just a big lady with a big hammer now doing her own thing. Also with a little dude, but in this edition he has no in-game ability, so can just be ignored. Here's a different situation, but one that will probably come up. Maybe you injure the character with your precision sniper attack, 
but you don't kill them. The rules for units are that if you have a model in your unit that has wounds already allocated to it, then when the unit takes damage again, the attacks have to be allocated to the model that has lost wounds. However, characters are the exception to this. Injured characters don't suddenly take all the damage. No guardsman is crying out, Oh sir, are you hurt? Let me use you as a human shield! No. They continue to protect their injured officer. So this would also apply if the officer had injured themselves with an overheating plasma weapon, assuming they had more than three wounds so they could survive it. We talked all about characters just now. Well, I talked, I don't know how much you talk back. Communication will have to be done through comments. But here is the video about characters and one more joke in just a second. If my tips were helpful for helping you play 40k as it was intended, please do consider giving me some tip money to get me through this month. That is the Ko-Fi link down here and in the description. It is like Patreon, but you can give one-off amounts. Thank you very much for not clicking away a few seconds ago. My darlings and viewers, I hope your day of 40k goes precisely how you want it to.